Good morning, grade 9 students. This is Ms. Moni. Today we're going to continue in Chapter 4, DNA, The Code of Life, Lesson 3, Mutations, Part 2. Please open your books to page 121. The objectives of the lesson. In this lesson, we are going to identify what is meant by cancer. We are also going to describe how cancer begins and spreads. We are going to explain how cancer is related to mutation and identify how cancer is treated. To begin with, what is cancer? Cancer is a disease in which cells grow and divide uncontrollably, damaging the parts of the body around them. Cancer cells can overrun normal cells. In this picture, you can see we have a healthy cell division and we have a cancer cell division. And you can see in the cancer cell division that the cell does not have a specific pace of dividing or a specific phase of division however it is dividing uncontrollably what is cancer different factors work together in determining if a person gets cancer because of their inherited traits some people are more likely than others to develop certain cancers some substances in the environment may also lead to cancer like the tar in the cigarettes or the ultraviolet light from the sun on the tanning beds people who have high fat diet may also be more likely to develop cancer how cancer begins Cancer begins when mutations disrupt the normal cell cycle, causing cells to divide in an uncontrollable way. Without the normal control of the cell cycle, the cells may grow too large and divide too often. How tumors form At first, one cell develops in an abnormal way. As the cell divides over and over, more and more abnormal cells are produced. In time, these cells form a tumor. A tumor is a mass of abnormal cells that develops when a cell divides and grow uncontrollably. You can see the tumor here in blue that these cancer cells start dividing uncontrollably and formed a tumor. How cancer spreads in our bodies? Tumors take a while to be noticed in size. During this time, the cells become more and more abnormal as they continue to divide. Some of the cancerous cells may break off the tumor and enter the bloodstream. In this way, the cancer can spread to other areas of the body. Cancer is not just one disease. There are more than 100 types of cancer, and they can occur in almost any part of the body. Cancers are often named for the place in the body where they begin. For example, lung cancer begins in the lung tissues. Other examples are brain cancer and liver cancer. Cancer can be treated. How is that possible? People with cancer can undergo a variety of treatments. Treatments include surgery, radiation, and drugs that destroy the cancer cells. When cancer is detected before it spreads, surgery is the best treatment. If doctors can completely remove the tumor, the person may be cured completely. If the cancer cells have spread or the tumor cannot be removed, doctors may use radiation. Radiation treatment uses beams of high energy waves that destroy the fast growing cancer cells. Chemotherapy is another treatment option. It uses drugs to, to treat a disease. The drugs can kill cancer cells or slow their growth. Many of these drugs destroy some normal cells as well, producing many side effects such as nausea and some undesirable effects. As a conclusion, cancer is a disease in which cells grow and divide uncontrollably, damaging the parts of the body around them. Cancer cells can overrun normal cells. Cancer is spread when a cell from a tumor enters the bloodstream. Treatments of cancer may include surgery, radiation, and drugs that destroy cancer cells, which is chemotherapy. As an assignment for next time, please study pages 119 till 123 from the book, do the assessment exercises page 123, and check the slides below to highlight the required information on your books. Thank you.